Hi everyone, this is a review of the La Roche Posay uh, Ethelios Milton Milk Sunscreen. Now, this is a product that um, was actually recommended to me by a dermatologist. Um, and and great the great thing is uh, I didn't have to go uh, to a dermatologist to order this. I could be able to get it over the counter. Um, so, uh, went ahead and bought it and started using it for the last uh, month or so and I am uh, pretty surprised about the product. There are uh, some pros and cons to this as well which I'll go over but overall a lot of pros. Um, one of the cons may be to some folks the price. This is a uh, 150 milliliter or 5 ounce product and it's about $36 and that's about the same price you'll find it on the website and at Target as well. And that's the price that I have paid. There's a smaller version of this that is uh, 90 uh, milliliters, uh, but about $22 for that. But you're gonna go through that pretty quickly. So keep that in mind. I would just get the bigger one so you don't have to continuously purchase it. But uh, the reason why uh, I like this product and the company is because it's fragrance-free, oil-free, uh, allergy tested and um, you know suitable for sensitive skin and and and, and whatnot so uh, one product that it does not have within the ingredient list which is a big big plus and if you do see this uh, please stay away from it is oxybenzone uh, this is a product that goes through the bloodstream and causes many many issues so um, keep that in mind but the reason why I have purchased this uh, product was First off, it, it really uh, absorbs quite quickly into the face, so it's not like all on the face and, and it stays there for a very long time. Um, and it soothed the skin and it, it felt moisturized after utilizing it. So, not only that, but the ingredients, as you can see here, are ingredients that don't get absorbed into the bloodstream. They're more mineral-based uh, ingredients. And they do protect against UVA, UVB, and even free uh, free radicals. Um, so you've got that uh, synergistic combination uh, to protect your skin from different UV damage. Um, and that's what they call the Cell OX Shield technology. Is this another marketing term? But is this a combination of those uh, ingredients to help protect your skin? This is SPF 60. They do sell lower SPF, but the 60 is their general one and I would just stick with the 60 uh, when, when kind of going out um, but other than that uh, those are just some of the reasons why I had purchased this product it is uh, you know another con is when first purchasing it and I don't know if it's just because of heat or whatnot um, I don't know if you notice like lotion or sunscreen over time it gets kind of like very hard like you can see right there inside the product itself uh, there are a lot of those little chunky, small little chunky parts that when you are like rubbing it, it just doesn't rub in. It's, it's too chunky. The, the ingredients or quality is just kind of been really hardened. So that's what I noticed uh, with this product, which was a big downside. But overall, I think the, the product itself is a great product. And, you know, things like that are to be experienced. Um, before you use this product, uh, the recommendation is to cleanse your face, so uh, you know, cleanse it and then moisturize it and then use this uh, sunscreen afterwards. But you can use it alone as well. You don't have to do all that. Um, but with that said, hope this is helpful. If it was, please uh, press the like button. It's going to really help out the YouTube algorithm and channel. Uh, and then subscribe for more videos. I am reviewing this product and a variety of different uh, natural and, and good products for the health and body um, and uh, if you have any questions feel free to post them below happy to answer those questions happy to help you guys out uh, and if you use this product before let me know as well down in the comment section I uh, want to know your thoughts on um, on basically this product or other products that you recommend all right with that said thank you all talk to you later